Jason, you've got some chunk on. They weren't supposed we to be approved to the... Uh, they were supposed to be next Tuesday. That was the vote. Was the vote was to put it to next Tuesday. On, on right. Tuesday. So what, what's missing? He's unhappy about that. John, what do you want me to make sure is on there? What's missing? Um, had been previously. Yeah. Call yeah. Call meeting. Can I have no? Interruptions, cross conversation. Right. No. All right. I'll put that on for next week. Right. Yeah. There what? Yeah. For the area, yeah. Yeah. This iteration of the design I thought was much superior to yeah. Yeah, it's a nice shingle style house. It's the kind of thing I'm more likely to expect to see going into Monomoy or Quays or something oh, yeah. like that. It will. I'm surprised they're putting that investment in that neighborhood, but we've had some more modestly scaled, but really ugly stuff come through. <laughs> yeah. Right. She's coming, John. We can't do any of the consent. We can't do any of the forms right. without John. Right. Yeah. All right. Everybody want to come to order? We're going to do what we can until Dawn gets here. She is on her way. So we're going to open the meeting at uh, 104, which is a continuation of the 128 Tuesday meeting in 2014. President John McLaughlin, Jason Leonardo Finger, David Barham, and Linda Williams. We, is the TV on for this one? Yes. Okay. We do have a TV recording of it and a, where's your little machine? It's here. Okay. And we have an audio recording. If anybody else wants to record it, let us know. Um, anybody see anything on the agenda that's missing or weird? Did everybody check the agenda in the room to make sure you're on it today? I did my best. See most of the people in here that are on it. Dave, you're on here, right? Okay. You look like Grizzly Adams. 
<laughs> it's that living in Vermont stuff. Um, okay, somebody want to make a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. Right, David's made a motion to approve the agenda. All those in favor? Aye. Okay, there are no consents today or 60-day denials, and we have quorums, which I think we're waiting for Dawn on every one of them. I have my list in the card. I forgot to bring it up. So we'll go to the items from the view list that we didn't get to the other night. First, Scavo. I think you're waiting for Don on, on many of them, actually. If, you want, if you're just looking for a quorum, if you're looking for a full board, that'd be different. Okay. I had the list in the car. John was only on one of them. Well, I have the minutes here. David was not on any of them. Yeah, I'm not on any. He's but not on any of them. Jason was John on was only on one. Do I have to go down and get the list again? Because we already well, went over I, this. I'll explain to you. On January 7th, you had the 15th, the 21st. And so the January 7th was the last time I was heard. We had Linda, John, David, and Jason. It's been up since then. On which? We well, heard it January, this week. I, I'll explain it to you if you want me to say something. January 7th, last time we have comments, January 14th. Uh, Hope for the beginning of January 21st. Here. Oh, no, no. And we yeah, heard I it. Okay. I was at the school. Okay. Okay. As a matter of fact, Don is here. What? No, there's no one on this one. We're waiting for Jason on one of these, and John, myself, and Jason. I bet on one of these, yes. Um, he probably should be Green Day, maybe. All right, we'll go back to Green Day. Since Don's here, we'll go back to the uh, forum issues. What is this? Green Day? Is Lindsay here? Who exactly is left on this one? Well, we have Linda, we have John, we have David, we have Jason. Would you like to hear the two? Yeah, I don't, I'm not seeing the big changes we asked for. What's the date on these, though? These are the wrong plans. Yeah, these are back these in are December. Way the wrong plan. We've had multiple plans since then. Okay, I'm back. December. December 24th. Uh, you wouldn't have had any plans since the last minute for these. Yes, he did. He put them in. Well, if he did, then I thought I'm saying these plans go on to the last minute. So. All right, I'm going to have to go down to the car and ask <coughs> who's sitting, <coughs> sitting on what. And then it's the Are you coming? You just need to a pathway so that we can. Yeah, he said move to the end of the agenda. Do you have a new plan? So that seemed to happen. Well, they're not in the file. He's coming past him. Josiah? Newman? Linda, Don, John, David, and Jason. No, this was a quorum issue. That's why it couldn't be heard on Tuesday. That's why it couldn't be heard last Thursday. Here, I have a new center on, so actually. Hold on. If this is going to keep happening, hold on. I'll go get some of them. He's a good See what you did, Don. Thank you, Joe.
Jason, so I'm off also. Okay. Which I hadn't read your name in. Okay. What? So that's why. Damn good looking girl. Mystery swap. What mystery? Well, let's make sure we have confirmation. Oh, yes. This is new. No, he, they just handed those out. This, okay. I just got handed one. shingle is architectural weather wood blend um, all trim and casing natural to gray uh, the only thing we want white were the window sash she'll have to correct the uh, application okay so what are the doors Absolutely. the doors are uh, they're all blue. natural to gray they're all solid um, okay. that's why I'm asking just yeah. because I know it's been a while yes mm -hmm. so correct the application okay 
Is that part of your motion? Yes. All right. Don's made a motion to approve the 122-2014 with the change in the uh, barn board, the barn board there adjacent. Okay. Uh, mentioned and correct application. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That was unanimous. two and a half feet from the original proposal um, on the uh, east elevation, I believe. Uh, on the east elevation, uh, I, it, I also added a pergola just to break up the vertical uh, component. And um, hopefully you consider this an improvement over the other one. I'm just going to cross. I'm going to cross off the the arbor, which shouldn't be on this plan. Oh, sure. All right. Go show me what the basement is. I know what I'm doing. I'm not seeing. Got it. No, that was a John's okay. request that he come down. Okay. John. Okay. Okay. to see the eave on that secondary mass lower than the main mass eave. Um, I also think that four sets of double gangs is too much. I mean, preferably the dormers would all be singles. Um, I'm not sure how that affects your interior. Um, on the west elevation, these four over ones I don't think are an appropriate window. I would like to see those go each to a six over set or a six over one. Um, Jason, anything to add? Um, yeah, the one thing I would add is that that large main wing that comes off the back of the house. Which elevation? Um, when you're looking at the west elevation and the east elevation, mm -hmm. I think it's too tall. I mean, I just think it, it's the main part of the house. I would like to see it a little lower, but I agree with everything else about it. So it's 20 feet. It's 20 
What's your first floor plan? Six. No, 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 it's nine something. But it doesn't matter. This is 24 feet. I know. I'm just trying to get anything out of it. But it's only 24 feet. Do you agree with the comment that Dawn's already made, though? Yeah. But those weird windows. Yeah. Um, I think the massing is taking a, a great leap forward. I do agree that the four sets of gang on the front is not going to work, and those four of the ones aren't going to work. Those are probably as good as single. Okay. Um, I'm not so concerned myself about the height of the rear, because it's only 24 feet, and right behind you, you have 28 foot houses. Yep. Um, yeah, the eave is somewhat of a concern because it's only back. Is this it? Well, this right here is that. Is this? And it, it doesn't really it doesn't really relate directly to that. And only it, and visually, yeah, it's it relates, flat and it relates, but but it, but it moves backwards. Yeah, that's why I'm not as concerned about it because of that 24 foot height on it. And actually, that's not even 24 feet. 23 feet. Yeah. yeah, so that's why I'm not too concerned about that. And I'll, I, Do you have a plan on this front? A plan as to how to split this up. Well, I, I, I'd be happy taking those to one. I'd like just given the style of the building with some of the overhangs. I mean, I, I think gangs would be appropriate for it. So, would you have three matching dormers like that one? Um, let me see.
And uh, that included correcting the application, or did you already get the colors? Okay. Uh, Brooke River again. Uh, this building as well um, was originally presented as a colonial style box. I think it was even presented as a, uh, it was a four bay and it was presented with Clabbard and the same request was made to um, uh, soften it a little bit and make it a little less formal. So uh, again, uh, eave lines dropped, um, overall height dropped uh, two and a half feet um, and some uh, definitely some massing modifications so that it wouldn't uh, um, present so opaquely on the street. Um, please remember that in this application, the street level is about six feet above uh, this building, so we'll be looking down on it. Uh, and I think the overall height um, is 24.9, so I mean, that's a pretty small building, you know, height-wise. Oh, this is the one on Wind Street, right next to the ones that yeah. Lombardi's built. Exactly, Except and those, those, and those space are in between three and a half to four feet taller than yeah. what I'm proposing here. Are you at, you're at a higher elevation than that? No, I mean, within like a foot. Okay. No, it's not, it's not, okay. not up the hill from them. Colors? Um, so, uh, so I think I'm going again with the Quaker Gray Newport Blue. I should be on there. Changed it on this. Like a gray trim. Got I didn't put the colors on. Okay. 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 Gone. That um, that one story piece in the back. Yeah. Can we make that a ten and twelve to match the rest of the building? Um. Is there a reason it's so. Yeah, you know, I just I just one. didn't want it to uh, be so strong on the back. I, I really wanted it to look like it might have been added at a later time. Um, so there. Okay. How do you like the two over twos? They're a little I large. Think the two over twos are okay because it looks a little little bit farmhouse like I think it's a little bit strange the way the porch wraps. I think it's just the way it looks in flat plan as to how it will look. I could put a hit in reality. This way. Um, oh. You know that? No, that would look weird. No, you, I, think it's gonna look, I think it's going to look okay, in, okay. In, once it's built. It's the way it looks flat that looks really odd. Okay. Putting a hip on that would be really weird. It would be in your setback. This seems very it's um, it's just because of where the this actual line comes down. There's a little roof there. I mean, I could maybe slide that porch out, but again, I didn't. It's just more like a cover. Yeah, it's. Okay. Yeah. It's, it, it's tucked behind. I assume the drawing got screwed up here. What do you mean? See, it's missing. It's disappeared. Uh, I'm just showing Cotter's corners. Yeah, but no, this you got an angle. Oh no, no, that's just that's the way. I'm saying I, the drawing didn't come out all the way. Uh, Jason. It's fine. I have another one. A relatively open space to another house. It's just they're being shoehorned in. It's just going to look like wall to wall facade. I think it needs to be. Bigger. Unfortunately, the building envelope for that lot is barely 40 feet. Pretty small. So they, they maximized the subdivision on this and went down to 50 foot wide in the front and 39 feet in the back. The problem with Upper Vestal Street is that it used to be fairly open, and houses that are there are fairly spaced apart. I think that that is a zoning issue that should have been addressed many, many years ago uh, at our town mm -hmm. meeting, and I think that this was zoned. Inappropriately. Yep. Yeah, it should, it should have been bigger zoned. Should have been R20, it's, it's R5. But the house is designed to basically go. I mean, it's space. It is, but the house is only 32 feet wide total, which is about as tiny as you're going to get. 
and the massing is now set back. It's not. Yeah. It's not flat on the. The, the, the biggest street. problem was the original A and R, and it wasn't A and R because the planning board had no choice but to approve an A and R because it was. All right. So you have a concern with the width. I have a concern with the size of the number six windows in the L's. See how big these are? Wide open. And I think we, we got Lombardi for the same issue. I think the number fives actually work better. They're one size smaller. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. Um, number six is the main mass. Big deal. Um, the front door, not quite working. I think it needs to be a standard front door with two lights on the top or something. How about four panels? Does that work? Yeah. So what would be the Motion to approve with a four panel front door and the number six windows <coughs> on, the, um, on the east. Um, and south and north elevations on the one story element to go to number fives. Okay. Don made a motion to approve the staff with a four panel front door and the number six windows on the east, south, and north elevations of the one story rear addition to go to number fives. All those in favor? Aye. Um, don't, uh, Jason? Not voting. You're abstaining. Jason is abstaining, and I'm in favor. All right. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you. Thanks for redesigning those. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Uh, Fogarty? Matt? that were on the first floor and made the uh, double homes. Uh, they're actually three over sixes. But I think the size works out relatively well. We reduced the dormer as requested. Uh, got rid of the bump out. Essentially made all the changes that you'd, you'd ask us to make. Again, the colors are uh, uh, Quaker gray, sash, and trim. Doors? Uh, the front door, I think the spec is natural. Is that correct, Mark? Okay. I have 
Dub is lighter than Quaker. I'd rather see he's, you go to Quaker. He's fine Quaker. Quaker. Okay. If you want to Quaker. work, I can update the application. Yeah, just change it to Quaker instead of Dub. I'll put it on. Uh, trim the sash for Quaker. Doors are natural to weather? Uh, front door. Front door is natural, natural to weather. The, the French doors are Quaker. And Quaker as well. Okay. John? You know, I like to see compartments in, in windows. Yeah. This house. It's mostly double hung throughout it. Why could it not be a double hung? Why is it not one of the six? Which one is, is John? Which move? Which where is uh, it? Uh, south elevation, right, right window, man, right. right. It's, it's a double hung. It is a double hung. It is double hung. <laughs> it's a three over six. Uh, 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 there are no three over six in the structure. Yeah, John. Uh, there is actually. Go to the other one. You specifically went to a double hung for you, John. West elevation Seriously. and They're north elevation. Like ah. West elevation and north elevation have three over sixes all over the place. If you go back one page, John. Come back one. I said, sorry, forward one page. Uh, so those are three over sixes. They're all. Three over sixes. So what? You want to make them? We told him that, we told him the windows were too big, so that's how he addressed it. That's the proportion. If you go to six over six, they increase the height by at least nine inches. They get bigger again. Okay. And the the little four lights down are fixed. David. Four lights. Up in the gables, they're all fixed. Not every picture to orange. These are fixed. They're supposed to be fixed. It's fixed on it right here. Uh, that's, that's, a, a, that's a, it's, they're fixed. <coughs> the awning should be removed, but it's, it's fixed. David. Matt, you've added a pergola. Yes. Yeah. And um, there are a couple of things I find strange about it. Um, what elevation? Both at the first floor plan and at the, the south elevation. Wait a minute. So I'm just looking at the south for the pergola? Yep. I got it. So the pergola runs into the side of the chimney and stops either side of the chimney. Correct. When I look at the first floor plan, I can see that the pergola is only you know, behind the post uh, about four feet deep, mm -hmm. less, less than four feet deep. And on the right hand side, the post for that pergola is actually in front of the window. The window in there. The window in the dining room. Yeah. And I just think it looks odd. I think it would make more sense to bring those posts out, you know, something like a couple of feet, so that you clear the window and so that the top of the pergola runs in front of the chimney and, and cuts the the verticality of that chimney a little bit, and you get you get some landings and some space. You know, it's kind of curious that you've got a chimney with a, a fireplace elevated off the floor level, but it's also up two steps right away. Um, right. It's an unusual arrangement. If I could, Madam Chairman, yep. the, uh, the idea is, was primarily to just cut that two-story, uh, okay. drop the scale. If you will. I don't disagree with you about, it's, with the pergola, it's either one or two. You either have to extend way out so that your furniture uh, assembly is covered underneath it. All right, yeah. stop talking for a minute. I don't care if there's a pergola there or not because it's couched it in between these one-story elements and you mm -hmm. only see it coming that way. I think the pergola looks fine. Um, I, I prefer to see the beam run in front of the chimney and have a shadow cast against it to cut the verticality of that chimney. It's, right, it's not corbelled properly. The corbelling has to move up between it. To the bottom of the case, though, the window's above. You're saying just pull it out a couple of feet. Yeah. But the curbling for me has to come up now. Yeah. That's fine. That's the word that's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to handle the windows under the dining room uh, with a grill, I gather? Yes. Okay. Do you want to make a motion on that? My motion is to approve. 
with the pergola proposed for the south elevation to be moved out from the house. Extended beyond, extended another two feet, right? Extended to the south another two feet with the beam over the columns to run without a break in front of the chimney. And for the haunches on the chimney to be raised approximately three feet. So the corporal will move up three feet. Okay. That's David's motion. All those in favor? Aye. Okay, that was unanimous. Great. Thank you very much. Patrick. Yeah, where'd the D come from? I have no idea. Okay. So Hart, Hart, H-A-R-T-R-I-C-K. Hart? Hart. Hart. H-A-R-T-R-I-C-K. Hart. 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 Hart.
I mean, I'm screening as much as I can. I'm putting in pear trees, hedges, fences. I mean, short of me putting in an eight foot wall, I don't know what else to do. And then I'm just but trying that, to give it. That's the problem is that it's it's that level of screening and fencing there looks odd. Every one of those lots is going to do the same thing. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. He's putting the pool in, so I can't do anything about that. All I can do is try and help you guys to help me screen it. There's a question for you also. Can you get rid of some of the bluestone? Um, I'm sure I can reduce it once we get down to it. I mean, it's not... I mean, if I'm bringing, especially if I'm bringing the fence line in, I've got to reduce it even more. But then you were asking me to get some more distance in the front, so I had to add more back. Well, I actually wanted a structure in the front. We can't do that because the 10-foot setback comes running. If you see how the lock gets tighter here... Ten foot setback comes in here. I can't put anything you here. Can't put a shuttle. No. So my the only way I could do that was pull it. the patio back. I got it. Put pear trees in. All right. Where do you want to go? Well, I don't. I mean, with it being a five and one, you're not going to be able to see anything anyway. I don't mind if you pull it back towards the front, <coughs> so that you can get behind this with the fence. See, I can't get. I can't do that because this is an open porch. This is open porch. The whole thing, not, is, the whole thing is open, open it's all the way. It's going to have to have some, thing, some kind of railing going through it. It's just that's the only way it's going to work. So you're telling me that if I pull this fence in five feet or ten feet or wherever now, so I can bury the fence in screen, that I can't have the fence back out here. I've got to throw it right through the middle of the lawn. Just well, the pool fence is different than yeah, a, than it's a be split so rail. Tall. Split rail, you don't need permission. Uh, yeah, I, I, that's the thing. It's a totally different look than a fenced-in backyard for dogs or whatever that can be normal, like 36 in height. 48 inches looks like pool fence. Looks different. So if I did this, massive amounts of screening all So if you split the two types of fences, I think yeah. is what I'm hearing. So okay, you tell me. Fence around the perimeter. And uh, enclose that pool for code purposes. But I can't enclose the pool without putting a massive fence through the backyard. So all of a sudden you're going to see this big ugly fence through the backyard. So why does it have, why can't it be tight to the pool? Because because that's an open porch. Yeah. I'd have to put railings yeah. inside the so porches that's and everything. That's a per. Yeah, you're going to have to run there. Here, the, the, there is going to have to be something in the porch that breaks it. Yeah, the other suggestion, Tommy, um, you're not going to get three for what you have is to go ahead and flush it with this and run the pool fence across that open porch and just like a railing. Yeah, like you a railing. a railing. It would look like a railing at that point. Yeah, but then you're blocking off the back entertainment area. Yeah, we have a gate. I'm going to have to have a gate coming off the combat to get down to the back porch. I think that's the only way you bring it back here before the combat. Well, what if I put split rail on the outside? But then split rail is not going to use it. It's not going to need pool code. You can only you can use split rail around the perimeter, but you can't use it. Pool. So I'm saying you have two separate fences going on here. Separate the exterior fence from what the other two members are asking you to do about pulling it tighter. Well, I, I, there's, if you're telling me to put a pool fence in and I've got to jam it up against Maybe the pool and yourself. then... Well, it can't go... I don't need it. It has to be too, too far back from the pool. But, but you, you know what I mean? The point is, the only reason I'm putting the fence in is because I've got to be cold, number one. Number two, I'm trying to not destroy the back lawn with a big fence going through it. Now you're telling me I have no choice, so there's no need me to me to put a fence in the perimeter. You're telling me I've got to go through the, the patio and go oh, through the yeah. cabana and close it all off. But it's just, I mean, that's literally... Where's the cabana? Well, I mean, not a cabana, but this is an open... This. this. It's like a dining Oh, room. sure. You know, so if I'm going to put a rail in and a gate towards that, I mean, that's... It's because this whole piece, and well, this whole all piece open. is all open. Oh, you can see the whole thing. You can see the whole thing. You need two votes out of three. Yeah, but I don't know. Why don't you hold it and see what we can, what we can come up with? I mean, you're killing it. You're killing yeah, the landscape by putting the fence through it. I'm just saying... Move the pool where? Because he's got a road here. It's the best place to hide out. Yeah, it's the best place to put it. It's right there. All right, we can't. We've got to figure out how to get this massage to the point where you can get enough ropes. But Did you want to hold it for revision? Make a motion. Make a motion. Unless you have a solution. 
Well, I did, but then you don't like it, so... <laughs> well, yeah, the alternative... Yeah, I mean, it, the you know, unfortunately, the, the alternative that you're asking us to do, it means then they're going to have to come back and revise the plans for the building, they're going to have to change then the railings, they're going to put gates in, get that approved, and then we're going to have to get a fence across, and we're literally... We're literally destroying the landscape. Not necessarily. Oh. It's not doom and gloom yet. Yeah, I know, okay. but then, so every time you want to walk 10 feet between the two places, you're talking about opening and closing gates and walking through this big fence. You want to try and bury the fence, now we're putting it right in the middle of the lawn so everybody can see it. But anyway, let's... Motion to hold for revision. We're not going to get anywhere today, so let's move on. Uh, Don's made a motion. You have another one, so don't blow I know, it all. That's why don't blow it all on this one. Don's made a motion to hold for revisions. All those in favor? Okay, that was unanimous. So let's concentrate on this one. It's been hanging around forever. They both have, so let's... Taylor, representing the applicant. <coughs> Tom Hunter. Same guy. Same... Roughly the same group. Does this mean next time? Show? Do you? Do you have one? John, John, and... Uh, four. Is the... Uh, there should be a packet of photographs and stuff like that as well with this. Well, I had four copies in there, so I just... Okay. Thank you. That was the... This is the fence issue, yeah. So you just added the fence. Well, here's what I want to talk to you about, if I may. So, the biggest concern here was that uh, the old folks home had put a new fence in. Um, Which was not permitted. It's this, um, it's a fantastically well made um, strapping. Have a look. They didn't get any permission for that. They took the retaining wall down oh, and put Sorry, this. Charlie, I see. Whatever this is, I it's not a fence. That's not it. That's not the fence. That's not the fence. I'm pretty sure we approved that. We did. We we did. did. Oh, yeah. And they don't own it. <laughs> they don't have yeah, any yeah. control yeah. over this piece of it. So they're going to put up a six foot four fence behind that. Well, yeah, if you look at you want double fence. If you look at these package of photographs right here, it could be a closer idea. They will never be able to take that down if he puts up this fence. They can't touch that fence, and he can't touch his fence because they're going to be six inches apart. Go. See, the problem with this fence is this fence is supposed to be a five foot double sided cedar fence, which is complete privacy fence, five feet. That's the uh, plan that they gave you. If you look, this is the application I pulled up. This is the schematic they gave you, five feet. Yes, it is. Currently, it's an open picket, three foot high. Strapping. Horizontal boards and strapping. I went out and looked at it. No cedar, no cap, nothing. So well, the, the point I'm trying to make is because they didn't make the right fence, then, Don, it goes back to your point. If they put the fence up, a five-foot proper fence, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Everything would be fine. Right. So that's the problem. As you can see, this is what I'm looking at from my back garden and not originally what we were supposed to be looking at, which is this. Did you go talk to... Oh, I called them and let them know and give them a heads up that I'm bringing this up to the meeting because this is directly involved with... But maybe they'll be willing to take that down if you put up a six-foot fence. Well, they will if you don't pass it. <laughs> if you don't, that The problem is this is, acting, sign. this is the reason why this is happening. And I went through the whole property with him for an hour last week in the freezing cold. It was cold. This used to have a retaining wall. Right. The grade change, this is this wide, and this is supposedly holding up the grade chain from falling into their yard. There's about That's a three-foot difference here. Right. And now there's nothing there. His well, fence... If there's nothing there. Isn't that retaining wall there? It's no. two by twelve. No. They took the retaining wall down. This is what's holding the dirt back. Oh, and the Which is not four working. Four falls it's a half inch wide. Okay, work. that's not going to work. <laughs> so if it, let's say they take that down, he puts up his fence, which he's in control of, but it's going to be going to start caving into the fence. So the other issue is to we're going to have to have a conversation with those guys up there at Academy Hill. Number one, number two, the other alternative for him was not to put the fence in until they resolve this issue, but run the Leland Cypress or whatever straight yeah. across the back. That will survive. But in two fences side by side, when that one has so to come down, they're that close. The actual hedge. Well, yeah. since, yeah, since I have no control over that, and I know you guys are going to make this right, make sure that he takes this down and builds, but if I have no control, the only thing I can have control over is putting a Leyland Cypress hedge, six to eight-foot Leyland Cypress across the back. We're not trying to do two competing fences to create the same finish. 
And it means then I'm not depending on him to actually do it or them to do it or fix it and do what they're supposed to do. Now, additionally, if they do fix it and do put in a five foot double sided, fence. I got a hedge and fence blocking everything. Okay. okay. So what I'm. Will, and we could write that onto the, onto the approval. Yeah. I don't want to depend on him, so for the sake of me, okay. I just. Um, the AC units, can you put an enclosure? There is going to be a closure put around them, yep. yes. Yes. It's not currently on, but I talked to the owner and, and I said, look, okay, you know, we're like insisting we're going to wrap it. Yeah, it. yeah so we're going to completely engulf them. What is on here that we're actually, there's two colors over here, but then there's all the blue, colors on here. The blue and the All the yellow. blue. And no, the yellow is already approved. Yellow's already approved. So what we're doing already. is the steps in blue. Approved, John, this is what we're talking about. Flagstone patio, the steps, the little retaining wall, the, the fence around the AC what units. What is the retaining wall? Are we filming? No, is it's there, already it's there. It, it's it's, it's about that high, and it holds the back grate up into the corner. They what they did is they cut into the girl into the yard to make a yard, and left the upland going up to the Academy Hill there. They didn't fill it; it just sort of ended up. Different we grade. didn't add to the grade. No, they didn't add to the grade, late Jason. They cut it to get the patio in at the first floor level because it was higher coming into the back of the house. So what is being retained? Here. The backyard that's out. already there. The backyard that's already currently there. We had to cut it. Academy Hill is the Academy Hill. Yeah. yeah. Which is falling into my backyard right now. Yes, it is. And it's dribbling down the hill. They've never taken the retaining wall out without putting it back. Because there's a tree there that's going to suffer now because the roots are going to cave. John? Yes. Number one, this says in six foot feet of fence supposed to be built. <coughs> yeah, we're from that women, am I correct? No, we're no. changing. No, no. Uh, this calls for a six yeah. foot fence, that's my question. Yeah. Do you have a foot for this? That's not mine. That's the one that we were arguing about earlier on that it hasn't been put in properly. It's not Ooh. mine, it's the neighbors next door. That's the Academy Hill fence. They didn't put in a correct fence. We approved a five and one. They did not put in the, the fence. Oh, the Academy Hill. They put the that in. Not, not, that. not me, yeah. yeah. Then we shouldn't be discussing this unless we get Academy Hill in here. Well, they're going to come in. They're going to have to. Time. But they want to put up, instead of another fence next to the other fence, they want to put up a row of Leland Cypress hedge so it's thick and it stays there. In front of this? Yeah. Yes. And that's uh, yeah. So instead, John, instead of me putting in that five over one, I'm going to put in a Leyland Cypress hedge instead. I'll put a hedge across it. Yeah. Did Not the state, the state and ever, and ever uh, no, uh, we're just discussing that now. Because I can't, this you fence can't here, it. I can't do that because of this. This is, I wanted to put this fence in, but it's going to be too close to this fence, so I'm going to put in a Leyland Cypress hedge instead. You're going to put a hedge in front of this? Yeah, instead. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. All right, then. That, that's all you're asking for? Oh, well, so the, steps, and the steps. Well, the, uh, yeah, yeah, these, the apron. These are highly visible also. <coughs> John, do something. Patios are patios. <coughs> All right, Don. Jason? Um, okay. Um, fire pit is not appropriate. I don't think there should be a fire pit right in the open as well. It's a, what is a gas fire pit? It's not visible? It's not visible. I don't think it's going to be visible. See, because I walk up and down by Academy Hill, up and down the stairs about a half time. Um, That's why I'm, I always wanted to put the lighting source down. I'm not a fan of the retaining wall in the middle of the yard. I just don't think walls are appropriate. Um, I, I wasn't in favor of the wall in front of the property when I was done. A motion to approve with the AC units having a four foot cedar board fence enclosure, mm -hmm. no six foot fence on the rear, to, um, instead to be replaced with six to eight foot tall Leland cypresses to be cut into a hedge. Densely planted. Mm hmm. Four feet apart. A hedge. Yeah. Um, okay. Dawn's made a motion. Uh, to approve with the AC units being surrounded by a four foot natural weather board fence and a six to eight foot densely packed Leland Cypress hedge on the north elevation along the uh, property line. Okay. 
All those in favor? Aye. Don? Aye. Don and John are in favor. Anybody opposed? Jason is opposed. Chair is in favor. Thank you. Good night, Mayor. We want to have to deal with you. John, do you want to direct staff to be in contact with the, the Academy Hill about that fence? I've already talked to him about it. He's, I don't know where they're going to go with it. I mean, well, they you talked to him as well, right? I well, I gave him a heads up that I'm going to be bringing it up to the board yeah. because it directly affects my landscape. But This is an enforcement issue. Well, we'll put it on the enforcement list. Is that your motion, John? Don? Yeah, yeah, sure. To put the Academy Hill on the enforcement list and contact them. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Jason? Aye. Okay. Uh, Don, do you want to make a motion that they have to pay an as built fee? The patio's there. The wall is there. Yeah. Don's made a motion to charge the as built fee on 25 Hussey Street to school and pay it. All those in favor? Aye. 25? So it should be 250, right? Yeah. 250. So okay. you know, uh, 225. 225. All those in favor? John? Jason? Okay, would you unanimous? I think you have to go back to Grise. Who's on Grise? Jason, you are. I thought you were here. Well, according to our minutes, it's Linda, John, David. Jason. That would make sense because John wasn't here Thursday and Jason wasn't here Thursday, right? That's what the problem was. Okay, representing the applicant? Mr. Congleton. They gave us the wrong plan earlier in December. Did we find the correct so, yeah, plan? Yeah, those are the correct ones. Okay. Did you find these at the office? Yep. Yeah. 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 yeah, they just came in yesterday. I was surprised that I was looking. Yeah, so I was surprised. Okay, so go for it. Okay, so so we uh, changed the driveway from the circular driveway to a less formal driveway, as requested. We, we veered the, uh, we uh, did a serpentine in the driveway um, to shield view of the driveway from the street, as requested. We lowered the fire pit down to nine inches. And uh, labeled it antique granite because it's just going to be chunks of antique granite. It's very low profile. And then we brought in the uh, the fence off the property line, tighter to the pool, as requested. And we changed the front stone from the rectangle two by fours to a regular stepping stone. I think that was everything that I body wanted. Oh, and we took the stone off the front entrance. Okay. David. I think this is now approvable, but I think our approval ought to be conditioned on the installation and maintenance of the screening planting around the fire pit as shown on the plan. Okay. I think it should be contingent upon all of the screening on this property shown. They've got it around the pool as well and, and around that corner. I'm, I'm happy to make that amendment to my motion. What you're doing is you're conditioning on the screen, the planting plan that is shown on the, on the plan submitted, correct? Yes. Okay. As, and as, as, a, as a minimal level of planting. And maintained. Yes, installed yeah. and maintained. Okay. I'd like to maintain. So. Yeah. Yes, you do. It's yeah. John? Yeah, that comment. This is your lot line? No, that's the setback line. This is your lot line? That's the lot line, yeah. And how you moved it back? We moved it back into here. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. You're right. That's the property line. That's the edge of the road. And so that's the property line. We moved it into here. Because it was right on the property line, so we shifted it in. Thank you. Jason? We're going to have green line for the whole thing, or you going to leave it more realistic in areas that are not going to be What would you change? Um, I would. If you've got green line this month, it's going to be a real problem out there. Yeah. 
I don't think, you know, I think, I don't know if they're going to want to irrigate the whole thing. I would, I would say that bottom corner is probably not going to have. I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect all of this to be long. I would expect that to be long. I would irrigate all that. Technically, in Massachusetts, it's pretty easy. I hate from it. I've grown up with from it. I hate it. It's technically considered invasive. Yes. And so I don't know how I'm going to have it with continued plant. David? This is where I have, just, so I guess I go, I appreciate everything that's been done, but I'm still having a major problem with the privet running here, except that this part of Washington Avenue is not cut, but it could be. And, but I've also got uh, Leland here, Cypress as well. Here. I've got okay. that Leland Cypress hedge located right in the back. Yeah, so right along there. Problem. And I'm going to do the hedges in front. Both K Street and Washington Street. Now, K Street will never be open. Yeah. But I'm still having an issue with Privet being the only <coughs> shield anywhere on this thing for the wire. So I would have to have Leland Cypress planted around all of the Privet. Okay. You want to phrase that into a motion, which I might be inclined to make? I can as well. You want to make a motion to approve, provided that the planting plan that is shown on this plan, what's the date of the plan? January 29th. On 29, 214, the, it's condition, and conditioned upon compliance with that plan, and it shall be maintained. And the uh, wire fence along Washington Street and K Street would also have uh, densely packed Leland Cypress planted on the outside of it. Does that work? Yeah, I, I, I think it does. That is David's motion then? Okay, all in favor of David's motion? All right. John? Yeah. Okay, John, David, all opposed? Jason is opposed? And I'm nervous, but I'll vote in favor of it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Jason, I think, unless I'm mistaken, I think you're okay. Okay. Thank you for coming. Thanks, Jason. Goodbye, John. Loyal opposition. James Scavo. Buildings, and I brought photographs of them because they are three significant buildings um, that I don't want everyone to be, you know, aware of. So I'll put these, I'll put these photos out there. What we're proposing is a, um, so working with the existing footprint, um, uh, with the exception of a small infill addition you know, towards the rear, uh, adding a second floor. And um, our approach was to to really create um, on page A2.1. The north elevation was to try and present a very simple uh, primary mass. Uh, if you look at the left-hand side of, of uh, this elevation, you'll see um, a gable, and that's an ex existing element that the owners um, really loved when they bought their house. And that, and that roof is a cathedral that, that continues all the way towards to the rear. So it's a kitchen, dining, living area that extends all the way back. And the, the challenge for us was to figure, see if we could figure out a way to keep 
keep that um, because of its value to the owners um, while, while providing second floor uh, bedrooms. Um, if you look at the photographs that I've, I brought, you'll see that a lot of these um, houses, that the two-story homes, all have second floor decks to the street. And I know that this isn't a preference. Um, it's, it's basically looking you know, for water views. Um, I, uh, they were at one point interested in a, in a uh, widow's walk, but practically speaking, I, I suggested that you guys might be amenable if they didn't have a widow's walk to having a second floor um, deck similar to others on the street. Um, again, we're working with the existing, where it's, a, it's in the floodplain, um, it's an existing deck elevation. Um, we're told that even though the floodplain elevation is changing, that, that it's currently okay where it stands now. The elevation is eight. Um, Don. particularly think that deck ought to get moved back <coughs> on the like west back. elevation. I, I think it ought to be slid back um, 10 feet. And I think it sticks out too far from the house. Um, it sticks out a very long way. Um, the French doors that give on to it are um, 8 feet wide, which I think is too wide. It ought to be 5 or 6. Um, is all that natural from weather loop? What the deck? Yeah. What's the, the, the railing? The railing could be. Everything else is white. The deck is just as natural. Okay. Um, the trim is white. Yeah, Lat lattice I think ought to go horizontally and vertically, not diagonally. I think that on the street frontage, that there's too much second floor porch. Um, and that the dormer is too large. Um, 
I, I think that it ought to be a dormer that's confined essentially to the width of the master bedroom. It shouldn't include the master bedroom and the bathroom to the right, and that a, the porch ought to be um, the left, the two left-hand sections, not the right-hand section, so that it would be reduced by five foot nine on the right-hand side. John. And I think it would be better if it came out less far. Um, you know, I, deck still? well, I mean, I see why the deck. To my, you know, there's no real view of the water. There are five, five rows of houses between this house and the beach. If you look at the locust plan, so the idea that there's a, a water view, I think, is fictional. Um, the um, what it does do is it helps hide the massing of what is otherwise a big vertical dormer on the front of the house. And I think if you took that porch away entirely, that that dormer would unbalance the house and it would look very peculiar. So you're okay with the front porch, front deck, second floor deck? Yeah, but I would prefer that it came out less less far from the front of the house. It's presently at So it six, has more roof in front of it? It's presently at about 6'6". Six, six. I think that if it was at... Four, I mean, this is essentially a Juliet balcony. If you can get out there with a cup of coffee in the morning and have room for a chair and a table and read your newspaper, I think it's done its work. This is not... It's off the master bedroom. You're not gathering large numbers of people. It's not an upside-down house. Um, I think it's effective as screening for that dormer, but I don't think it needs to be as big as it is. And the porch would look less top heavy if it had the house closer. Well, you'd have more roof in front of it. That's right. Okay. I have bigger problems with it than you guys, so you guys carry on. John. Where is it? Look at this way. Um, that is here? Yeah. Right. Need the one foot setback. It's a flush dormer, too. It's a flush dormer. Is it a double hung one or no? Yeah, it's double hung. What's happening is that I could have done a second section cut through there to show the elevation. But it's double hung. Why is it having to have a board across it? If the check rail is hidden behind the roof. John, it does this. Does it do this? Yeah. John, it does, it's a full window. You can't see well, it. Uh, what I'm saying is the way it's drawn, you see this here, the window sill going across? That's that's the the check that makes it a single window. No, that's the check rail. The rest of the window is below that roof. It's behind this roof. My, my question is, I'll, I'll, I'll why is that line on that? I'll that's clarify. the middle of the window. I'll clarify. It's so clarify. Why does it overhang it's the sash here? You want to hang on over right here and over here. That makes that that's the window cell across there, the way it's drawn. Shall we just draw the window in? Okay. Would you draw the window in? You know what? I'm just going to come back to revisions anyway. No, so no, 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 no. I, I just okay. closed it. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. I can understand that here. Yeah. 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 The other point I have is the north elevation, that so called. 8 inch extended bay unit with the transfers up top, and there's no credit for that house yeah. whatsoever. I think it detracts because you've got so much glass there. You should either eliminate them or get rid of the whole thing and put two windows in that wall. Because it doesn't serve any purpose that six, eight, six inches sticking out. John, that's the existing window. That's existing? Look at where your hand is. Yep. Stand corrected. First time I'm here, but I stand corrected. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Okay. No I've got a lot more trouble with it, but the one right across the street, Mr. Wiley. Um, we made them keep a lot of the element behind that front original part of the building, did we not, Mr. Wiley? 
we spent a long, long time on this building, making sure that the original one-story funky thing in the front, it remained. Okay? See this? And yeah, they built yeah. the second floor. There had been one, and they just extended it and, and changed it. But the additions were back behind the original structure. Yeah. This whole little street until you got to the very end of Galen where they put all those wonderful little monstrosities back there in the 70s and 80s was all one-story cottages. Right. There's one left in front of you on Wall Street. That was my concern about this, about going up. But every single one of them there has gone up. And you can see what's happening to the one right next to you, but across the street. My concern was making sure that there was still something that was reminiscent of the original one-story structure, okay. which to me made the attachment to the right a little bit too big and too wide. Okay. So I would want the addition, two-story addition, I'd want it pulled away from the one-story one piece, that's mostly the iconic, which is the front door, yeah. to that left side. Okay. okay, that's a good comment. All right, which would then make that second floor dormer smaller or to get reorganized somewhat. So I'm, that's what I'm really concerned about. I do agree with all the other comments that have been made, uh, especially how large this left-hand deck is on the, on the north elevation. I think it needs to come way back, at least to just to the first post. I'm having an issue with that completely. I consider this going to a patio. Or patio. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's so high up in the air, that's the problem. Yeah. The first floor is like 10 feet above the patio. So I don't mind there being a little extension there because right now they have a little bump out there, but it's too wide, way too wide. So I agree with everything else that's been said. Um, I think what's the big concern for me on the front of it is the flush dormer and how big the flush dormer is. Um, when you look at the one across the street, it's a full two-story. It doesn't have a flush dormer. But if you're concerned about the height, it seems to be one thing that could happen is, is that this eave could move right down to the top of the rough opening, which mm -hmm. would reduce the presence. Um, we've got an eight pitch on this. Pretty got, flat all the way around. We've got a nine pitch on it. You could drop it to an eight pitch, which would get the ridge height down a bit. Um, there's actually, on the elevation, the side elevation by the deck, you're showing the window here an elevation loop that's not appearing on the plans. It's in the attic. Right. Let's flip over and look at that. There's plenty of room behind that window to take the bathroom that you've got installed here and install it under this section of roof here with that window that for ventilation. That may, that may be pulled back. What's that? That may be pulled back because you're trying to maintain this one story As a piece. Separate piece. Yeah, yeah, but hang on, one more question. I've got one more question here. Is this negative mass? There's no negative mass. This looks like it's a no, that's, shower. That's around the shower. I thought that for a minute, too. But right it was like here? a screen porch. It's not. Oh, it's, 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 it's lattice. It's this. Isn't that weird? I've never seen anything like that. It's just the way it's like the lattice. Is well, the lattice is it, no, the lattice is extending above the shower, and I've never seen that. It's that odd. should not be there. The lattice below it, yeah. I've seen that. I have never seen that. Abo it above and below. Like that. No, I don't know why. Well, probably because the shower isn't up in the air with lattice under it. And does anybody else have an issue with the fact that the windows are where the it well, it sounds trips? like there's going to be some David? massive change. On the south elevation, where this you know, it would be helpful if that window drifted eight left eight, eight inches, so that the division between the windows looked like there might be there might be a structural post or split, there. Split, or split to me, them. it split the windows because yeah. I got one, two, three, four ganged issues on that side. Right. Split these guys, put one on the left of the turn and one to the right. I just think there's a lot of ganged windows around here. This, this, this really large. No. Or sliding door? No. On the west? No, it's all new. No. It's all new. A really large the, slider the is slider not working is for me. It's too wide. And the handles are too good. It's a 16 light. It's too wide. Okay, too wide. Okay. It does have them on the other side. <coughs> motion to hold for revisions. David's made a motion to hold for revisions. All those in favor? Aye. Here you go. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Let's start with color. So you took what you had to say. Um, this is an option showing, you know, John, showing the uh, darker green. It's the uh, section that's called the um, that's that's green, green, and move the black. I've got a color swatch here. They call it Benjamin Moore called the Black Forest. Okay. What, what are these colors that I, I got handed? Uh, that was, I think, from the previous submission. So okay. From, from Tuesday night. What's that from Tuesday? Yeah. 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 Since, so yeah, get rid of it. You don't okay. some other options. So the darker sash color, the darkest is this. Uh, it's called Black Forest uh, uh, Green. Um, it's basically the darker green that the HD, it's actually an HTC approved color. The gray is this. Is, what is the gray going on? Uh, the, the gray clabbered? is on the clabbered. And? And uh, some of these, uh, the bays themselves, actually. So the clabbered and the bays. The white is the uh, glacier white. So what's that on? That would be on the uh, casing and general trim detail. So like corner boards. Corner boards. All the trash yeah. gap here. Exactly. With the exception of no. One of the things that we looked at um, was some of these historic photographs, and you'll see that the tablature uh, is actually painted yeah. a darker color, mm -hmm. which I think is going to be pretty phenomenal. Uh, but then the brackets themselves are the the white. And then the one last piece is the uh, accent pieces, and that would be the uh, what's that? Hamilton blue. Hamilton blue. And that is something. If you guys aren't comfortable, that's blue. And the accent pieces are Hamilton, 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 Hamilton,
down? No. The problem was, and the last time we oh, it saw it, it went, it went from here way up to there. So it was about yeah, yeah, 12 yeah. feet tall. Yeah. And it, was, it was odd. So that looks, that okay. looks better. Okay. And so this is the alley side. I think that really helps. And the front? We just have the one. Okay. I think it's a really nice accent. I think it's going to pull it together. Yeah. I did like the shutters on the, uh, the bay. You know, I did, we actually drew it up <coughs> with the shutters on the bay. Because they're foldable shutters. The, and we think it looks or better. One thing is I don't have approval from the client for that because when we talked about it on Tuesday, we only talked about adding them on everywhere size. but the bay. Come back for those, but I'd like personally like to see them back I on the bay. I think I might be able to convince them of it. We would give them to you easily yeah. if you come I'd by and ask for them. Yeah. Yeah. I would, yes. Um, I think that for my money, I, I have a hard time telling the difference between what they call forest, black forest, black, uh, black forest green, and what I call black. Yeah. So, you know, I'm not I, going for black. Well, you know, this may be labeled black forest green, but it looks black to my eye. I can see the green. It's got blue in it. Yeah, but I not much. I would rather go with the oh, as standard as, as, as it's green. green. See the difference? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm that, that green's more visible. Yeah, I'd rather Essex green. Yeah. Otherwise, I think uh, I, I'm okay with the colors. John, what do you John, think? John, Essex green. My comment on it is, uh, what is the, the trim color? Uh, the, <coughs> these are the colors right yeah. here. So the, the, the corner green ones. stand, though, or whatever you want to call it, that green stand right on against the white. Well, this yeah. is the window so Let me finish. I don't think it's appropriate, you know, where it is, because there's nothing like that around the neighborhood. Here's, here's the old historic photograph, which they're trying to work from, John. Right. So yeah. the clapboards are a medium tone. This color. Right. The corner boards are the lighter, off-white. Mm -hmm. And then they, in the written Victorian <coughs> days, they had the dark color up in there, and they had the dark color in there. So they're going to match the old photograph by going with the dark color in those locations. We've got a problem with the front door as well. So, John, the sash is actually the darker color, and then the casing around the sash is the, uh, is the lighter. Oh, yeah. Well, you look at the second picture, mm -hmm. David. Mm -hmm. Sorry, John. You look at the second picture. You don't have a lot of darkness around the window like you do here. Can I point out here? That sash is it's actually really thin. It's hard to see in the photograph, John, but you can see that inside sash is the darker color, and then yeah. the casing itself is white. It's tough to see on the, on the smaller photograph there, but... Matt, we got a problem in the front door, and you're reversing, and it should be reversed. Okay. So this, you've got dark and light accents, and it was light and dark accents. I can do that. The front door. We need to reverse it back to the other one. Sure. The white, the, the white with the. Uh, okay. The accent, what would the accent color be? I would say probably the, like the, dark. the contrast in color. Which color? The S6 green. The green. Yeah. That's very good. You don't want you want to do that instead of the blue. It's very. Oh, I think the blue accent would be nice. Yeah, I mean a lot it's of it's got to be a white door. <coughs> I would white. say make it a white door. Um, well, I'll, we can go with the Hamilton blue, but if uh, one thing I might do is take a yeah. photograph, do a Photoshop mock-up, because one of the things I just want to see is with these colors, mm -hmm. even with these renderings, these are helpful, but I think real time. Yeah. Uh, so if we can just go with a white door, and I'll do Hamilton blue accents, and then if we go with a darker. I feel that the darker is a bit more appropriate on the back passport. Okay. All right, so. Okay. John, I have to make a comment. The elevator shaft, uh, my question, I started the other night too. You're okay with that, right? And it's, it's, it's off center. Correct. Right. When you went into this building, all three floors, the hallway is right straight down the middle. It comes right straight down the middle of that building. I spent many hours bridge. And I you it says here you gotta have fifteen foot minimum clearance. Alright, you have seventeen foot there. Because you scale it's just three sixteenths. What is this scale? Well this that's three sixteenths as well. I guess the quarter scale. Three sixteenths, that's that's a quarter, okay. But I'm just questioning that you know the fact that well, they did not. That one didn't put. 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 That one did
the difference between the two. I mean, we could nick, we could nick it. I mean, I do think this. But I, I still think that those photos are black and white. They don't show, they show a dot, but they don't show a color. You know, I find, mm -hmm. I find a big difference the way it's on here. You can really stand out. Yeah, even with the gray. Mm -hmm. What is it? Gray? Gray. David. Okay. Matt, just a small uh, note. The building section that you have given us yeah. on the last sheet is showing the mansard roof at the lower level. Gotcha. The drawing needs to be corrected. Okay. Okay? So that's section two on sheet A2.4. A2.4. Yeah. So correct the mansard uh, roof. So you're saying uh, the, the, the Actually, am I just looking at the, is this the old set that I'm looking at, or is this the new set? I got the new set. January 20th? Okay. All right. So let me get the right set in front of me here. Uh, you may have already corrected it. Let's not make the minutes a mess by saying something that isn't true. Okay. You've adjusted the section on the new set, so no concern there. All right. So, what would be I? We can use these as the basis of our motion. I assume. And the color swatches too. Yeah, and the color swatches. And the color swatches. All right. Got, so, so what I've got, David, is I got Essex Green sash and shutters. Yeah. Glacier Lake corner boards and trim. Yeah. Okay. I have Rockport gray for the clapper. And I have Hamilton blue for various accents. And the, and the front door is going to be white at the moment, white with the Hamilton blue accent. And the tablature is the Essex green. And the tablature is Essex green. Let's think about this front door for a second, because we've got a transom light. Yeah, but this is not happening, not for me. I'm not saying that. <laughs> but I'm saying it. I actually think that because your trim work here, is the blue and white mm -hmm. that when you mock it up, the the blue the, the blue in uh, on a white door is going to look like it all pulls together. Mm -hmm. If you go that way, what's going to stand out as different is going to be the really dark sash on the transom. Well, that should be white. That should be white. Well, look at the door. Or or you've got everywhere else your sash are dark. So maybe what you do on that sash is go with the blue again so that the whole front door surround is a blue and white composition. Okay? Because the, the, the frame is white. You see this? I don't he's changing the front door. This is That's not your, it's obviously it's not the original door. Obviously. Yeah. But your frame would be white, but your sash would be blue. Correct. The transom sash over the front yeah. door would be blue. Okay. Okay. If you want, we can submit an updated color. Yeah, submit an updated color thing on this. All right, so David, it would be Essex Green Sash and Shutters and Entablature, Glacier White Corner Boards and Trim, Rockport Gray Clappered, Hamilton Blue Accents, and the front door would be a white door. With blue accents. With blue accents. And the porch and railing. Wait a minute, and blue sash. And blue, blue transom. Blue, blue sash. sash. Yeah. We want to do the, uh, and the shadow, the gray shadow on the um, uh, uh, rail. We call the balusters. So the, the, the top rail, the porch, bottom porch rail. Posts are posts white, but, white, but the but the sticking of the uh, handrail is the gray. Goes gray. to gray. The gray accents. Do that. Okay. All right. Do we need to repeat that one? I'm going to take it off the tape. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. So you want to make that motion? That is my motion. Um, and it is to include a corrected rendering of the color scheme uh, for approval through staff. Sure. And the approval also includes the color swatches, which are Essex Green PM11, Glacier White AC40, Hamilton Blue PM6, and Rockport. Rockport Gray, HC 105, handed to the administrator. Okay. All, in, all those in favor of David's motion? Aye. All those opposed? Thank you. John's opposed. Chair's in favor. All right. Thank you very much. And the, uh, the owner wanted me to say thank you as well. Uh, for
respectful and responsive. I'm excited about this, but thank you. Well, it's going to be very pretty. Very pretty. Okay, DuPont. Oh. Where are you going? Oh. Who's on B of I? So we know. Like we may have a form issue there. We do have a form issue on Hither Creek. I just want to make sure. I'm pretty sure you said on B of I, though. I'm sure anyone yeah, can do Don, John, David for B of I. Okay, so DuPont, we have get enough. This should be fairly quick. I think it's just John, myself, and Don. Linda, Don, John. Okay. Representing the applicant? Dave Wiley. Okay. We didn't sign um No, I haven't sent it around yet. John, are you okay? John's made a motion to approve. All in favor? John? Thank you. Thank you. If you came all the way down from Vermont. B of I. Representing the applicant. Joe Paul from BBC. That's not anything put in front of me, is this? Oh, wait, John, you didn't start the your... How do we want to put this on here? For the tape, for the minutes? I would be inclined to leave it blank and rely on the minutes and the tape. You've got to state what the conditions are. Those are all wrapped in conditions. I'm right down. No, I'm not. You're saying for the tape and for the minutes. Hopefully they're correct. All right, Dave, this is yours. All right, what are you doing? Can you just see if those are dated January 22nd? David? January 23rd. Is that close enough? Really? Oh, the site plan. Yeah, I think we updated the site plan, I believe. Who's sitting on this? I think it's all four of us. Linda, Don, John, David. Yeah. Okay. Would you like the previous comment? Yeah. Well, they were mo they were massing changes. They were kind of sweeping comments. For the meta suggestions, right, they are as follows. Regardless of the issue on the west side, the current visibility from east side, there will be a great deal of visibility from the south side. That's all they can pull the visible from the road and the north elevation. Too much glass and you want to the triple French doors. Perhaps change to a door and a couple of windows, but less place. Having a mall gang is a bit problematic. We put some place space between the flat. The elevation of the tower element is strange. Type A windows on either side of the door on the left hand side are too wide. It looks over penetrated. Type N windows gangs look peculiar. Ladies and should be of the type M units. Other type M units should not be not the blaze with the French doors beneath them. The bump forward and the tower roof with the type in windows should be rethought. Type A units are too wide on either side of the French doors and should be scaled back. Transit is still not right. Painted triangle should, all, should be all natural. Prefer shingle treatment underneath the triple type D windows. Concern on the right hand side of the picture, picture units. Type H windows. Top elevation problem with the game. Type A windows are done coordinated with the four bank French doors underneath them. It's all overlays, so it's going to be too large. Sticking out of the ground at 36 feet seems to be cut into the ground and they're not going to impact the seat from Westchester. It feels like a lot of buildings in the middle are too large. <clears throat> what about 
like to see the garage plans now and especially on the stairs on the south of right next to the stairs between the two buildings and the roof material. The whole concept is not tucked away enough. It is very visible. The whole structure, hardscaping, and pool will be visible. Especially if you're driveways. It would be helpful if the driveway and roof section was coming in, but it would not fix all of the issues. And also, it's like a ski box with all the glass and stone. We'll need grading plans. Too much glass. The house needs to go in a different direction. Not sure if this is the right approach. The house is 113 feet long. It is visible from the front of the Third is not being tucked in. 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 Things with the window styles on that. We'd like to totally be done. We committed to help for those. What's the plan on this, baby? First floor? Eight and a half feet. So we, they, if you look at the page where they're at eighth inch scale, um, I just noticed the east elevation should be labeled in order. Yeah. Uh, the second east elevation. Both, yeah. Yeah. The second well, east both elevation. of these guys should Thank be north. You. The second row down should be north. Right. Um, um, this should be north. The one up above. This one. Yeah. North. That one. Yeah. So we revised the massing and the architectural language of the building overall. Uh, we changed window style, we changed the central mass. There is no tower on the structure anymore. Um, Same it's, length though. Yeah, but it's, it's broken up quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, we eliminated the driveway from Westchester completely. And uh, just a reminder that there's a significant area on the lot that cannot be disturbed. So screening will be maintained from, from Westchester. So my expectation is that we would be talking about whether or not this massing approach is more appropriate than the previous one. And uh, I did, we did change some of the stone detailing to brick on the, on the chimneys. The stone that was on the south elevation basement is, is all vertical boards at the moment um, so that it's not exposed concrete. Um, and then to the left of that, there's a bunch of horizontal lines. That's actually like three tiers of landscape stair. But that, I, mean, I really think that that's actually part of the garage application, which we are redesigning. Oh, no, it's attached to the house. Okay. And we actually, we did push the building down to the ground a little bit more, too. Mm. Done. Um, we're heading in a slightly better direction. I feel the main, the main mass is there isn't. It's too small for the structure. It should actually be a, that main piece. It just makes it look. It makes it look top heavy, and I feel like it should be a wider piece for the for the size of this overall house. Um, I don't think that the two over twos are an appropriate window style. I don't think that the front doorway is appropriate. Um, the, um, the south elevation, these massive steps and stonework that connect the building together are still a problem. I know we talked about that last time. Um, there's a little flat element on the west elevation where there's like a, oh, a yeah. projection that comes out and then there's a deck on top of it. Um, I'm hoping that this is not going to white because I don't think that that would be appropriate. No, the um, the trim is gray and the windows are black and the roof's natural. Okay. And on the east elevation, I think those flush warmers are just too large. The second east elevation. The, oh, the north elevation, actually. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> David? I agree with everything Dawn has said. Um, we had a similar kind of house with a similar kind of problem about eight months ago that was a uh, Botticelli and pole design throughout in Pacamo. Um, and they solved it by simply adding about 30 inches on both sides of their main mass. It created a little bit of poche space, 
but otherwise they didn't change their basic floor plan, but it gave the main mass the weight that it needed to control the dependencies. And something along those lines might work here. Yeah, I don't disagree. I, we, I know you don't like the back and forth, but we, I agree with that 100%. We, we did make it a little bit wider. Weren't, wasn't sure if it actually went far enough, so I, I get what you're saying. Okay. On that east elevation, the triple gang above the front door, I think, is too much. I think it ought to be separated units. Um, probably regularly spaced five units across the front. On the left-hand side of that same elevation, you have a, uh, a lean-to shed uh, appended to the kitchen. The roof on that is very high. That ought to drop. Um, maybe there should be... It, right now, it's an awful lot of bare wall space. Um, perhaps there should be another six light in that wall. I think that as I look at the connection between your dining area, which is heavily glazed to the southeast, and the kitchen area, particularly as I look at the south elevation, um, I'm uncomfortable with the way the, lean, the, the shed extension for the dining area attaches. I think that it might be more successful if the gable roof over the kitchen went up about 20 inches. Um, it would lend some, ev some emphasis to that end of the uh, east and west elevations, and it would make the transition down to the glazed eating area look more like an added porch at some later date. Instead of a weird broken back? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it was like that. We had at, well, the early application. No, you had raptor tails showing. Well, we did, but that relationship, yeah. You had broken it, yeah. 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 And I think the break broken. could be even more than you showed the first time around. Okay. Um, I agree with Dawn about the six over six. Um, I also, on the west elevation, I'm uncomfortable with the French door balcony that just opens off of a staircase. I'd like to see that de-emphasized. Um, it puts too much emphasis on what ought to be an underplayed link between the masses. Um, and I'd like to see a more conventional arrangement of windows and doors on the west elevation on the main mass. You know, the, the presumption here is that this is, that main mass is the old original section and that arrangement of windows and doors doesn't look in any way like it was the first period of construction. Um, on the south elevation, I think I'd like you to consider some arrangement of retaining walls or regrading this. There's something peculiar about the way that basement is, is exposed down below. What is the material that's being proposed for that? Is the, the, the cedar boards. Vertical boards yeah, with shingle up above? Right. I think that feels funny to me. It doesn't feel... I think it would have been more successful if the same stonework that you were using for your retaining walls in that area was used uh, on the foundation as a veneer. Mm -hmm. um, but we didn't I, I want do that. You did that before. See the stone to the left? We didn't want that. Well, I wasn't sure if it was part of the new language. I actually like the stone and it tying into the retaining walls, but I think we could probably still keep the brick chimneys. Um, I, I'm a, I agree with that comment. I, I, I think that um, you know part of what was peculiar about the stone in the first version was that we were taking stone over a four-gang French door, and stone doesn't want to do that naturally. And you know, if you think of the barn that well, I'm never I'm, mind. Yeah. Keep going space, back and forth. Yeah. 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 But with, and everybody everybody with the separated windows and doors, you could do stone, and it wouldn't look peculiar. Um, those are my comments in the main. Thank you. All right. All right. John? I have two comments. One, 43 years, this is the most inimical house I have ever seen. <laughs> no, Gamble's was. Yeah, yeah, no, no, this is the worst Gamble. It's the most inimical. There is nothing in this structure that correlates to itself. There's too many different windows, you know, throughout the whole structure. You've got too many of everything in that structure. And it's uh, 
very chaotic. Those are my comments. That said, it's better than last time, right? Oh. Yes. For me, I think you got to resubmit, redesign, and resubmit. For me, it's better than last time, but the whole thing is freaking me out still. I got one, two, three, four, five, six different houses stuck on here, and that's not a normal progression. Nobody would have thoughtfully done that. I do agree with everything else that's been said. When this comes back, I, I would like to see the garage presented as part of the elevations because they're going to be seen as one complex okay. of buildings. And I actually think that the addition of the garage may may ease and help our understanding of the whole. Yeah. Okay. Okay? Thanks. No, Don's made a motion to hold to the bid. all in favor? Aye. All right. Now we're going to have to make a motion to the Dawn has to go. Obviously, John just got up and left in the middle of the meeting. You know what that means, everybody. <laughs> that means David and I have to clone each other. Have you Don't we wish. To come sit up here. That means everything else has to go to Tuesday. At the beginning of the meeting. I think he's the only What's the agenda look like for Tuesday at this point? I have no point? idea yet. Should we? Should we yeah, I know. But we've got an awful lot left that we haven't gotten near. Uh, should we start, instead of starting at 4 instead of 5? Is that something people could do so we can get through it? I can't do it. I know Jason can't. You, me, and Diane can. I have particular blue city. I can so. Is Abby still going to be away? No. Coming back Sunday. Well, we may want to think about starting an hour early so that we get caught up. Can I, can I just ask you one question? You know, my Anthony M. application. Yeah. I couldn't get an appointment with James yeah, to change that. So I just placed the Anthony M. application for the storm. So I just reapplied for next Tuesday's meeting, which right. is okay. business, and I hope that James can figure that out. But I've done a mock-up, okay. and we're going to paint it white. We're actually going to put glass in it, but the glass isn't safety glass, so I can't just put it up. Okay. I have, have an appointment for you to view it, and I'd like you to view it between now and Tuesday. Is okay. this something you, have, you feel you have to view? You know what he's doing. Well, the, the, cool, the, the question was, um, the one that was sitting here was, whether or oh, not yeah. you'd see the green through the white. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Um, We've gone through the trouble of making it. Yeah. Can we pick a time that you and I can make and that maybe Dawn could make and simply say that it's going to be available then, like Saturday at noon or Saturday at 10? I may be gone Saturday. Just Saturday. I can have it on Friday, I think. Friday? What is your time scale for Friday? I did a Friday at 2.30? So I have I have something scheduled for Friday and I'm trying to figure out what the hell it is. What about Monday? I can work, I can, if it's like 1 o'clock on, I, it's, it's in my car. But I, I'm all right every other hour of Friday except for like that one whatever it is. I gotta go look at what it is. Could you guys just let me know what's convenient? Because I don't want, I can't put it up and leave it there because it's not safety for us. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Linda, will you sort out your schedule? I will make it. It'll be sometime after 2.30 on Friday. I have, I know I have a showing at 1.30, so it's either between like noon and 1 or after Tuesday. I don't let everybody know what it is. Okay, I could do either. Or after 2.30, was right. that yeah, what thanks, it was? Thanks, Ron. Okay. Okay, David's made a motion to adjourn. As I have, but we don't have a quorum which would allow us to oh, vote on that. Oh, he's fine. I'll go. <laughs> Everything else is going to go over by itself. All right. Yeah, I think we're going to push it over to you. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. All right. It's all this for you Tuesday. I'll be surprised if you see a lot of stuff happening, Sam. One of these is... Uh,
The one at the bottom, 11, I think we 15, had it Monday, Tuesday, so. Okay, good. Look at that. My expression was that you didn't have it.